Hello my pen friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special unboxing from Atlas Stationers Inc. And uh, you know what that means. We've got some new pens. Wanna see them? Stick around. This is an amazing online store as well as a physical store located in Chicago in the United States. It has fantastic, fantastic stock. They are a wonderful, safe place to shop online. I have bought many purchases from them. On top of that, I have also lucky enough to be an affiliate of theirs. So if you want to get your own elegant stationery, anywhere from pens and ink to the perfect paper or planner, you can check that out in the description box below. Use the link there to the website and use coupon code Nicole to save 10% on your final purchase. This was one of my many purchases and my goodness, is it lovely. We have three pens, two inks, and an ink charger set from Ferris Wheel Press. Because I'm here on the Golden Coast, but I'm going to be moving soon, I really wanted to get this Golden Coast charger set to try out these inks to see if any of them are ones I want permanently in my collection to just sort of remind me of the last decade of my life. This has been home. And the pens I've gotten are very much in keeping with that vibe. The first pen I got is a Banu, is an Atlas exclusive Banu. This is Golden Coast. If you saw my currently inked last week, you'll recognize this pen. It has this gorgeous deep blue at the top with this wonderful iridescent shimmer. It's got these gorgeous chunks of iridescent glitter. And then it runs into this waves of this light blue iridescent color that is just divine. At the bottom of that, we end up with this very pale purple that you can catch on just every once in a while as an extra layer on top of that light blue. And then we have this shimmering gold at the bottom that just looks like the sand in the sun. And on between those two are again these chunks of this iridescent glitter pieces that look like chips of seashell. This looks like the surf in the ocean when me and my family are sitting on the beach hanging out on a Saturday morning and the waves are crashing in and the foam's there and you that's what this looks like. That's what this reminds me of. And that's what I'm taking with me when I leave. I can't bring the ocean with me, but I can bring this exquisite pen. It is just over two full turns to open the cap. The grip section matches that light blue, foamy, frothy color, and also has a bit of that iridescence to it, that purple iridescence. It is divine. It is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Look at all of that glitter. Banu does it right. It is a Schmidt nib, and this is in a medium nib. It has lovely decorative scroll work on it. The whole body feels so lovely. It's soft, it's light. I can't remember what these grooves are called. Uh, it's not coming to me at the moment, but that, that bit where the cap screws in um, sits comfortably. It's not, it's positioned, it's not hitting any hard difficult place on my finger so I think it's going to be fine to write with. Then we have the Ferris Wheel Press charger set with Blue Yosemite Falls, Golden Gate Glow, and Malibu Blush. Next up we have the Caveco in Rose Gold. This is a medium nib. Now this is lovely. All of the AL sports I've had so far have been sort of a matte finish and has had a lovely texture to the outside of it that has, it feels lovely. This is completely different. It is silky smooth. It feels fantastic in my hand. And it's not as cold as the other ones, which is interesting. It's the same metal, but the finish, it warms up really quickly. So when you first pick it up, it doesn't have the same sort of, I don't know, cool feel to it when I first pick it up. Again, there's that lovely Caveco nib with that beautiful scroll work. Just lovely. 
feels fantastic. It really, really does feel glorious. I cannot wait to write with this pen. To ink up with this one, I got Ferris Wheel Press Adventurine. This is a gray ink with a rose gold sheen to go with my rose gold pen with a silver nib. In my Banu, I am putting this one, which is the Ferris Wheel Press Glistening Glass, because it's got that blue and gold together. Both of these pens are on my currently inked. The last pen I have today is another Le Bon. I know, I have a problem, but the Le Bons are just so beautiful, guys. So this is the Le Bon Sakura. It's a resin body with sort of a pale beige, almost with a slight wood grain, cap and then it's got this pink on the body with again that cream colored finials at the top and bottom it's got a lovely gold band across the middle with the Laban logo etched across that and look at i don't know if you can see this there's like a textured iridescence in the body here of this pink it's so so lovely now, this is a beautiful summer pen that I got last month. It's got the Le Bon Converter. I love the font for their brand. It's really beautiful. This pen is just lovely. Look how pretty she is. All right, writing samples. We have my Rhodia paper here, my Rhodia pad of paper here, where I like to sample the pens just to sort of get a feel for them. So this is again, the Caveco AL Sport with the Ferris Wheel Press Adventurine. This is the Banu Golden Coast with the Ferris Wheel Press Glistening Glass Ink. Again, the feel of this pen on paper is so lovely. Both of these are fantastic. And then lastly, we have the Le Bon. This is the 325 series in Sakura. And I have this inked with the Ferris Wheel Press Malibu Blush. This is a really pale ink. I don't know if I didn't put enough in it and I couldn't get the pen into the ink vial because it's just a sample. Um, so I had to fill the cartridge and then plug it in. So it's probably gonna take a little while for the ink to flow through smoothly, but this is what those writing samples look like. And here it is in the light. You can see there's that rose gold shimmer of the adventuring and you can see that gold shimmer in the glistening glass. So that is my Atlas haul and my newest acquisitions, these beautiful, beautiful pens. I tell you, I'm getting, I, I just keep finding these amazingly exquisite writing utensils and they're fantastic. I love all of these pens so much. They feel great, they look fantastic, and they are a absolute joy to behold and to use and they just look fantastic in my collection. So it is ever growing. I hope yours is too. If so, drop down in the comments below. Let me know your current grail pen and what your go-to brand is. What is your favorite pen and ink combination? Drop that all down in the comments below and let's start a discussion. I'd love to hear all about it. If you wanna be pen friends, you can hit the link in the description box below and join us on Discord. If you wanna see my full collection of pens and inks as of this, as of today, you can check out the link in the description box below and check me out on TikTok at Book and Broom. If you wanna hear how my story's going, you can hit me up on Nicole Sharp's TikTok talk and uh, I will see you in the next one guys if you're enjoying this content please give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you haven't already and you like what you see hit that subscribe button doesn't cost you anything it lets the algorithm gods know that you appreciate the content it also means you won't miss any new videos coming from me so thank you guys so much for coming out thanks for joining the family for those of you who have I will see you in the next one bye guys